Hello, and thank you for your interest in the Ohio River Recreation Trail. This series of informational and safety videos are designed to help you enjoy your time exploring the Ohio River and the Ohio River Recreation Trail. This video addresses frequently asked questions regarding locking through at Ohio River locks and dams. Ohio River locks and dams were designed for and are used primarily by commercial barge traffic. However, recreational watercraft can also utilize their services. This short FAQ video provides answers to some of the most commonly asked questions regarding lockage on the Ohio River. Can recreational boats lock through on the Ohio River? Yes, they can. How long does it take to lock through? It can take as little as 20 minutes or as long as an hour or more, depending on the status of the lock chambers when you make your request for lockage. Can I call ahead and schedule a time to lock through? Unfortunately, no. Lockages occur on a first-come, first-served basis, with commercial vessels having preference over recreational watercraft. Are all watercraft allowed to lock through? Powerboats, sit-on type personal watercraft, canoes, and sit-in or sit-on type kayaks are approved for lockage. Stand-up paddleboards can only be locked through if they are secured to an approved vessel with the paddler remaining on board an approved vessel throughout the entire locking process. How can I tell if the lock chambers are busy today? Using the digital guide to the Ohio River found here, at the top right corner of the map page, click Layers, then scroll down to the Real-Time Commercial Boat Traffic Layer which will show the location and direction of towboats on the river. The closer towboats are to the dam, the busier the lock operators will be with commercial traffic. Are the lock chambers always in operation? Ohio River locks and dams are staffed 24-7, 365. However, maintenance is required from time to time, which may necessitate the closure of one of the two chambers. Contacting the lock and dam by phone prior to your anticipated use may identify any problems or delays due to maintenance. Telephone numbers for Meldal, Markland, and McAlpin dams are also available in the digital guide. What equipment do I need to lock through? You will need a length of rope long enough to tie your watercraft off to one of the floating mooring bits during lockage. You will also need to wear your life jacket or PFD as they are required to be worn during the locking process. At all times, respect the instruction of the lock operators and thank them for their assistance. Remember, you are a guest at their facility. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have found this information useful. For additional information regarding locking through, see the next video, Locking Through on the Ohio River Recreational Trail, Procedures for Safe Lockage. Again, thanks for watching and see you on the water.